against um, the, the border of Mexico. I don't agree with that. I'm not a person that don't agree with dividing anybody, all right? Potential. I'm not agreeing that, right? I buy respect for his business and the people that he's employed, you know, those kind of things. I don't know him personally. I can stand off a floor and uh, admire him for what he built. I would never agree with anything. He's a straight separate. shooter. I mean, he does. He's, he's slings from the head. I mean, I, I, I mean is that I, good for this for this country? This presidential contest, you think? He, he, he's speaking for the country. Otherwise, that he would not. He's speaking for a portion of the country. Right. Otherwise, that he would not be a lead in the poll. All right. So that's saying something now. I don't care what nobody says. That is saying something. All right. He 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 is leading the poll, like the rest of them is down in the poll. Right. He'll speak in the feeling of the country. Donald Trump is a very smart man to be where he at. And the numbers show that, you know. So so, so I, I, I think this much here. You rather know what a person think than to hide it. I, I respect him for that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So, so, but the same way with my issue, I'm going to call it like it is. I'm going to talk black, white, um, minority, whatever it may be. I'm gonna call it exactly like him, but I'm gonna be respectful. Are you disturbed, uncomfortable with the country is today? I mean, you, I mean, you came up from um, the hard times and to yeah. to the penthouse. But is America what it should be, what it can be, what you thought it would be at this point in your life? I am uh, the, the American dream. Okay. Yeah, you talk about that, right? I, 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 I would look. America is the best country in the world. It takes people like myself to bridge the gap and bring us together. If you go to any country outside the world, and when you fly back in America, you think God bless America, right? I mean, let me face it. You go to Egypt and get out of Cairo, Egypt, out the plane, and you walk, uh, you ride a half a block, you look at the city of the dead. Over two million people are living in cemeteries. Right? You go to China, out in rural areas. You go to Haiti, right? You, you, you go to those places where you don't even have a toilet, but it's a hole in the ground. You're glad to be back home, right? Oh, Jesus. You know? <laughs> God bless America. Right? But it, it's up to me to get in and help. Now, look, people talking about, what, you got, what, what kind of foreign experience you got? Why don't you ask President Bush that? All right? He ain't had no foreign experience. Why don't you ask President Barack Obama? He, he didn't have it. What your cabinet's for, right? Right, you appoint people. <laughs> right. I, I'm more qualified if you look at the experience that you have in front. I got business over that. Well, in effect, I mean, aren't you, you've been the president of a company. You are a CEO. Is yeah. that what the president is? That, that's all it is. He's a CEO running a big business. Right. And I got more experience than those guys that had that. And, and I've been around, around the world, uh, what, five times at least, you know? Uh, I don't think I'm dumb, all right? Um, Somebody I, said I, seventh grade education. I heard you say, right? Is that seventh grade education? Some people might, you know, throw slings at you saying you don't have an education. Well, well look, but you also multimillionaire. So. Who they love with which place with? <laughs> All right. But 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 even even at that, there have been eleven presidents that did not have a high school education. Eleven presidents. All right. But I, I don't think when a president, you know, education don't necessarily make a man or a woman. It it's the heart. Mm that make a man and a woman, you know? So, so so I look at the world in a different light. I look at the world and say, hey, I can do this if I get out and really push hard for it. You really are a different candidate, aren't you? Uh, I'm a different human being, you know? When Lloyd made me, he didn't make no more, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I look at it this way. Look, Lloyd gave me talent, 
My faith tell me if I waste that talent, there ain't no more me, right? But my faith also tell me you get out here and work hard and you do what I tell you to do with humor and respect, I'll make you a rule over many, all right? So, so, so I believe in that in my mind, my belief, I want to die doing that. Finally, we're here at the SCLC, Southern Christian Legion Conference, 57 National Convention. What brings you here other than, other than your campaign, but is civil rights still important to us, important to you as a successful businessman? Does it still matter to you, sir? It, 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 it matters. Here's what I tell you the problem with our most of our civil rights organization. And, I, and I'm saddened by this. It's sad. You know, uh, Senator Steele is a good man. All right? And I'm sure that, that people on the board are good too, individual. Most of our uh, civil rights organization is, is, is run and controlled by the major corporations. All right? You, you only can say so much or do so much, you know. Now, and you only you're one person, but you got a board to run that. But you know, you, 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 the, 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 the Urban League is controlled by big money. And so therefore, uh, I can't get on there. Excuses, excuses, all right? And I realize that, all right? If it not been for, you know, the major corporations who impact, who give these dollars to our civil rights organization, right? We can survive a lot better, but our own people cannot give. Why our own people don't give? Get a lot of faith. Some a lot of time our people get sold out because of greed. It's just like you're preaching in the pulpit. In the congregation, you see the, the pastor the guy, you know, babies here and taking money and this and that and that. And they said, why they should watch I go to the church. I mean, I'm not just speaking that. Right. Not right. I, 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 look, I, I, I tell the truth. Doesn't matter who you are. All right, my uh, uh, faith, my God, tell me you tell the truth. But when you tell the truth, say it humble and respectful. And leave the rest to him. What's up with you, Brad? You're a special guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are different. Yeah. This has been an MBTV production. Why? Because we care.